Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Naomi. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make pretzels. Before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. But without further ado, let's get to the video. Here are the ingredients. You will need four and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of warm water, one tablespoon of yeast, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, and two tablespoons of oil. Let's combine all the ingredients. So to mix all the ingredients together, I'm using my KitchenAid stand mixer with the hook attachment to mix all the ingredients, but you can use your hands and it will be this, give you the same result. So I'm gonna start by pouring in my warm water, my yeast, my salt, and my sugar. And we're gonna just mix that for just a couple seconds. Now I'm going to stop it once I see the yeast start to curdle like so I'm going to show you once the yeast starts to curdle like you can see in there um, that's when I know I can add in my flour so I'm going to add in half first and then I'm going to add the other half after half of the flour So with the first half of the flour, I'm gonna add in my two tablespoons of oil and mix that on low because you don't want the flour to just blow everywhere and create a huge mess. Once the flour is like somewhat combined, speed it up a little bit and you don't need to get the flour completely combined, but get the majority of it combined before you add in the second half. So now I'm going to add in the second half of the flour. Lock it in place and start on low. As you can see, the dough is already starting to come together. So now you can speed it up and just let it be on high speed until the dough forms and it's soft. So now I'm going to give it a little push down so we can mix it again until it's complete, everything's completely combined and well combined. On high speed again. A good indication to know if your dough is ready is when the size of the bowl is nice and clean. 
And that's how you know all the ingredients have been fully combined. Just like this. So now, you want to let your dough rise for one hour. But before I do that, I'm just gonna remove my dough from the bowl. I'm gonna get some oil and put a, a, about a tablespoon all around the bowl. Wipe it. Until the sides are coated. And then place my dough back in there and then let it rise in the oiled bowl for an hour. So it's been an hour and my dough has risen. And now uh, we, I'm going to start cutting it into small pieces and forming it into the pretzel shapes. But before that, I'm going to preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 450 degrees. So prepare a pan and I'm just going to line it with some parchment paper. So once you've lined your pan with parchment paper, you can start forming your pieces of pretzel. So I'm just gonna give a small tutorial on how to form the pieces. So I'm going to take a piece of it, right? Just like this. I need a little bit. Actually, this is kind of thick, so I'm gonna remove a little bit. So once you do that, you want to start rolling it into a long rod, like strip, like a long rope kind of thing. So I just um, roll it on a, my countertop until I get the length that I desire. So first I start by rolling it with like, like this, like all the way down to the ends. And then after, once if I start noticing that like one side is thicker than the other, I'll just roll it out like this. So pinch it and then roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it like this. So once you have a decent sized rod that's not too thick but not too thin either, like this. There's two methods that you can use to make like the shape. So let me just zoom out a little bit. So the first method is you, you put your rod down in the shape of a U and then so, so facing like your way and then you just twist it twice like this. And then after you'll you'll pinch the little ends like this and shape it. So once you pinch them down, you're done. So this is how to make the shape. So I'm just gonna place it on the pan. So this time I'm gonna show you the second method. So this one's a little bit com more complicated, but it works perfectly fine as well. So you just hold it, your dough up in a U like this, and then you twist, and you, you land it like this, and then you put these down like that. Pinch the tips, and there you go, that's your pretzel. shape. So any method that you find easiest will work. So both of those methods will work and they both come out looking the same. So now I'm just gonna continue and finish the dough. So next, after I 
I'm done forming all the pretzels, we have to do um, a process of dipping it in baking soda with warm water and then drying it before we bake it and put the egg wash because it'll make it extra crispy and make it extra brown. It just adds that extra element of just deliciousness. So in a bowl, I have a, just a whole bunch of, a lot of warm water. The bowl is full of warm water. So I added about a third cup of baking soda, like that. And I'm gonna mix it until the baking soda dissolves. So over here, I've set up some paper towel. So once I dip it, I just dry it and put it back on the tray. The baking soda has dissolved. So I'm going to take a pretzel. You want to dip it in like really fast. Like that. You don't need to let it like soak, like sit in the water too long. Then dry, pat it dry. and then take it and put it back on the tray. So I'm gonna repeat that for all the pretzels. So now that I'm done dipping the pretzels in the baking soda water, I'm going to prepare an egg wash. Add in one egg. And once you've done that, get a brush and just brush it onto the pretzels. all the pretzels with the egg wash. At this point, you can add whatever toppings you like, like cheese, simple salt, or cinnamon sugar, which you put after it's done baking. So if you would, if you choose to put cheese, you would put it right before you put it in the oven. You would just grate a thin layer on top and let that bake in the oven. And if you wanna add salt, like I'm gonna do for half of them, you put the salt in before you start baking the pretzels. So I'm just going to take a little pinch and sprinkle it on top, like that. I'm going to put this in the oven and bake it for 10 to 15 minutes. So while I wait for the pretzels to bake and finish baking, I'm going to make my cinnamon sugar mixture for some of the pretzels. So first I'm gonna start by adding half a cup of sugar. And this is all based on preference. You can add as much cinnamon as you want, but I'm gonna add in one tablespoon. And then just give it a good stir. If you're not a big cinnamon fan, you can reduce it and just put half a tablespoon or like two teaspoons. But I really like cinnamon, so I'm just gonna add a tablespoon. Okay, so now the sugar and cinnamon is well combined. I'm gonna get some butter. So I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of butter and melt it in the microwave. After 30 seconds in the microwave, this is what my butter looks like. So now I just prepare a brush and my sugar. So I'm just going to show you how I do one of them. So I just take my brush, dip it in some butter, 
and just wipe it on top of the pretzel. And this is unsalted butter, by the way. And then after I take some sugar, I just use my fingers and sprinkle it on top like this. Like that. And then after I'll do that with as many pretzels as I need to. And then after, I just give it a tap, tap, tap. And there, you have a cinnamon pretzel. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this recipe, you guys try this recipe and you enjoy it. And comment down below some suggestions of what you guys want to see me make. But without further ado, thank you for watching this video. And can't see it. Can't wait to see you the next one. Peace.